Hello everyone and welcome back to another sewing video. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how I made this dress with the Macos M7789 sewing pattern. I made a few modifications to the original pattern. I reduced the length to the corset to 6 cm, including 1 cm allowance. I also added interfacing to all the bodice pieces to have more structure because the, of the lightweight of the fabric. And both bodice and skirt have a lining. The fabric that I use is chiffon and the size of the pattern is size 8. This tutorial is not the exact tutorial on the pattern. So please check out the instructions before following any of my tutorials. With all of that said, let's get started. So first I'm going to stitch the bodice back to the bodice front at the side seams and repeat the same step for the lining. Then with right sides together, pin the lining to the bodice and stitch the upper edge, secure the seam and press. Pin and stitch the lower edge between large circles, turn the lining to the inside and press. Fold the knot with right sides together, stitch leaving ends open, then center the knot to the bodice and stitch. When done, turn the seam to the inside. Now 
Next, I'm going to stitch the midriff back sections to the midriff front at side end. Repeat the same step for the lining. Then pin the upper midriff to the lower edge of the bodice matching symbols, side seams and paste. Pin the midriff lining to the bodice with right sides together and stitch one and a half centimeters in the lines. Secure the seam and press and stay stitch the bottom edges of the bodice. Finish the edges of the center back of the bodice with a serger and the bodice is done, now let's make the skirt. So first I'm going to stitch the back and front skirts at side seams and finish the edges with the serger. Finish the edges of the center back of the skirt with a serger and repeat the same steps for the lining. Then pin the skirt upper edges to the body's midriff lower edges, making pleats and matching side seams and stitch around.
in the skirt lining to the other side facing the right side of the bodice lining and stitch following the previous seam. When done, I'm going to pin and stitch the center back of the skirt and skirt lining from the bottom to the zipper marking. Then pin and stitch the skirt to the lining center backs. I started stitching from the top of the bodice and stop at the zipper marking. And to finish, I'm going to add the zipper to the center back of the dress and finish the skirt edges and lining bottoms edges with an hour hem. And that's it, the dress is done. It was pretty easy to make. If I can do it, you can do it too. I will add the stripes to the bodice. That was a huge mistake that I made. I didn't add the straps and i have to rectify it so that's it if you have any questions comment below don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more videos and i'll see you next time bye